Just last year, Mariah Carey left her plush penthouse in Manhattan to seclude herself and her kids amidst the pandemic in a bigger space. She's been leasing a high-style Westchester country estate to act as her quarantine pod, and we can bet the cost each month is out of this world. The songstress has also maintained her mansion-sized Manhattan apartment since 2000, and while she's put her place in the Bahamas up for sale more than once, as far as we know, she still owns this retreat on Windermere Island. Today, we'll check out a few of Mariah's properties properties, including the jaw-dropping rental mansion she's been calling home amid the pandemic. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Mariah Carey is a singer, songwriter, record producer, and actress who's best known for her five-octave vocal range, unique singing style, and signature use of the whistle register. Basically, her talent and voice are one of a kind. Mariah is often referred to as the Songbird Supreme and the Queen of Christmas. She rose to fame in 1990 with her debut album, released under Columbia Records exec Tommy Mottola, who she would end up marrying. Mariah is the first artist to have their first five singles reach number one in the Billboard charts, from Vision of Love to Emotions. Mariah achieved worldwide fame with her follow-up albums throughout the 90s, and they also spawned some of her most successful singles like All I Want For Christmas Is You, Always Be My Baby, and many more. Despite the songstress's publicized breakdown back in the early 2000s, Mariah was able to bounce back in 2005 with a new album, which became the best-selling record that year. Its second single, We Belong Together, was a definite chart topper. Mariah is one of the best selling music artists of all time and has plenty of awards and accolades under her belt, some of which include 5 Grammys and being welcomed into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Mariah's estimated net worth is at a whopping $520 million, so you know this queen can afford to live in luxury homes whenever she wants, whether they're rentals that cost almost 50 k per month or mansions she's purchased. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I noticed that 95% of you guys watching aren't subscribed, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for all the best celebrity house tours and more. We post a new video daily. We've done a Mariah Carey house tour in the past, but with the mega mansion she's been quarantining at with her kids being revealed, it seemed like time for an update. We'll check out this epic country estate in Bedford as well as some of Mariah's other high class properties from Manhattan to the Bahamas. As always, don't forget to follow me and Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. In the wake of the pandemic last year, Miss Mariah decided to get herself, her two kids, and whatever staff she needed, a new spot to live for a while. Like many city dwellers with money and resources, Mariah was able to make a move like this and get more space than she had in the heart of New York City. While she does have a mansion-sized penthouse in Lower Manhattan, Mariah decided to rent out a large country mansion outside of the city for an undisclosed amount that's acted as her quarantine hideaway. Located in Bedford and Westchester Country, New York, this area is about an hour or more away from Manhattan by car. This particular mansion Mariah's been living in is located in an upscale gated enclave called Bedford Corners and lays close to Martha Stewart's farm and only about six miles from the mansion Mariah once upon a time shared with her first ex-husband Tommy Matola. Bedford actually seems to be a popular spot for the rich and famous to get away to. While we don't know how much Mariah's been paying to rent this abode, it last sold in 2012 for $4.8 million to a a former Wall Street executive who spent a fortune turning the mansion into a high-tech heaven for the uber wealthy. The mansion sits on over five acres of landscaped grounds and inside spans about 10,500 square feet with six bedrooms, seven baths, and four powder rooms. This is all spread across three floors and there's also an elevator to help you get around the mega estate. Mariah's rental was built in 2006 as a stone accented manor with a traditional exterior, but inside it's now full of state-of-the-art technology. There are features like a top of the line home automation system and a security system with over 20 cameras and a biometric keyless entry. However, the real attention grabber is the million dollar pool, but I'll talk about that in just a second. The renovated estate came up for sale first in 2015 at almost $10 million, but was taken off the market a while after. Even after going up a few years later with a 30% price reduction, nobody purchased. So yet again, it was taken off the market. Either way, it was available for Mariah to rent and the home is just as elegant 
Morgan as her. The sophisticated mansion boasts plenty of open space and soaring ceilings, starting at the entryway with curving staircase and nearby formal living and dining rooms. The living room has a shiny black marble fireplace and nook of windows, while a dining room offers a classy chandelier and French doors to the yard. There's a wood paneled library with light up bookcases and a fireplace with carved line heads, as well as a large sunny family room attached to the backyard. The gourmet kitchen is massive and has a breakfast room right next to it, so there are plenty of places to sit down and eat a meal. An extra basement level of the mansion has a games room and media lounge with a 900 gallon saltwater fish tank, light filled home gym, and of course, a theater with wet bar. The guest rooms are spread out between the upstairs level and the main floor, but they don't compare to Mimi's celeb style master suite. Located on the main floor, her bedroom has everything from a private sitting room, spacious bedroom, and of course, a dressing room with a ton of closet space. Not to mention the spa style bathroom is so large, it can fit Mariah's glam squad easily when she wants to get dolled up, even just to prance around the mansion. Out back, the features just keep coming. Not only are there stone terraces to lounge and entertain, but they're also heated, which is a convenient little feature. Other highlights include an outdoor kitchen, outdoor shower, fire pit, sports court, gardens, and a ton of grassy lawn space. And then we have the Grand Pool. This baby is a 90 foot long violin shaped over the top feature that no doubt gets a lot of attention. According to reports, the pool costs about $1 million to construct, holding 50,000 gallons of water and decked out in almost half a million glass tiles with fiber optic strands that light up. Talk about glitz and glamour. The attached spa is part of the violin as the chin rest and the bow is made up of two koi ponds. While it was reported back in 2012 that Mariah was selling her retreat in the Bahamas for $5.5 million. It's said that she still owns it and it's since been taken off the market. The compound is located on Windermere Island in the Bahamas, a spot where privacy seeking celebrities and even British royals love to holiday. A slim, slightly remote piece of pink sand off the Bahamian island of Eleuthera. It's only accessible via private helicopter or a guard gated bridge. While Mariah was vacationing here for years, she eventually bought up a beachfront estate called Villa Seelily around 2008, which spans 4,000 square feet divided between four pavilions with three beds and three baths. She and her ex-husband and baby daddy Nick Cannon actually got hitched here in a secret beach ceremony in 2008, so that might be why she tried to unload it so many times. Anyways, the Bahamas compound is made up of four pavilions arranged around a courtyard, and aside from the interior space, there's 3,500 square feet of marble walkways, terraces, and covered outdoor living spaces. It's very much like a resort, and a pair of pavilions offer the bedroom rooms and bathrooms that surround the kitchen and staff quarters. All of the bedrooms at Villa Sea Lily have wet bars and at least one of the suites boasts a private living room. The main outdoor living and dining area is airy and located just above the swimming pool, offering amazing beach and ocean views. This space includes a stone fireplace, built-in barbecue and more. The swimming pool here is 40 feet long and surrounded by terraces to sunbathe and it sits between the main outdoor living pavilion and the sand. The compound also offers a beach each side Ramada to escape the sun. Finally, let's check out Mariah's longtime Manhattan penthouse. She acquired this property in 2000 for an unrecorded amount, and it was done up to the nines by decorator Mario Buada before it was featured in Architectural Digest. Mariah purchased her lavish penthouse triplex in the Franklin Tower, a 17 story condo redevelopment that used to be a bank back in the 30s. Mariah lives in the famed Tribeca neighborhood of New York City, and apparently the main penthouse alone cost her $5.5 million. She then went on to purchase the unit just below to combine them, and while we don't know the exact amount, it likely cost her about $10 million, not including the renovations. Mariah's mansion sized penthouse boasts nearly 13,000 square feet of space, four beds, and 4.5 baths right in the heart of Manhattan. When the place was custom designed, there were influences of Art Deco, which the building's architecture also reflected. There are bronze limestone floors throughout and an opulent chandelier in the entry, while the living room doors are decked out in silver leaf. Back in the day, Mariah showed off her apartment for MTV Cribs, but she's definitely freshened things up since then. We also know the singer loves her kitchen as she likes to entertain and cook. When she's not cooking up her signature pasta sauce, Mimi can retreat to her master suite, which has stunning city views and one of the most amazing closets ever. I have a lot of different dresses positioned just because there they are. 
Her massive custom walk-in closet has room for any shoe, special outfit, or bag you could imagine, and Mariah loves to put it all on display. Other features of Mariah's penthouse include a home movie theater with an aquarium on one of the walls, and an under the sea vibe, as well as a spacious rooftop terrace that would have any New Yorker jealous. There's an entire seating area outside, as well as a hot tub overlooking city lights. All right, so I'm gonna wrap up this house tour right there. We got to check out where Mariah Carey has been calling home for the last while and some of her properties. While she's been spending more than most of us will make in a lifetime on her Bedford country mansion rental throughout the pandemic, Mimi can afford it. We know she's leased some of the most lavish properties you can find, with no expenses spared. Who remembers her Beverly Hills rental she was spending 35K per month on? Anyways, after looking at her Bedford home, her longtime Manhattan penthouse, and her property in the Bahamas, what did you guys think? Which was was your fave. I love the style of the Bedford estate because it seems so classy and royal, so I'm gonna pick that one. But I also think it's a little too massive. I would get lost wandering the three floors and the hallways. Be sure to tell me what you guys liked or didn't like about Mimi's mansions down in the comments or feel free to rate them. I really wanna get to know you guys better, so please subscribe to my personal channel and check out my latest video. Drop me a comment there and we can continue the conversation. It's gonna be about the serpent, also known as Charles Sobrage. So before I get into the real life, life story about this dude. I'm just gonna talk about the Netflix show that I've been watching, which inspired me to make this video in the first place. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and I will see you all next time. Bye.